On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the TR-76 Geist with a single tap mod attachment. Let's go test it out. When we first started the Pimp My Gun series, it was originally for us to go find weapons that could really benefit from the mag of holding. And I think this TR-76 is one of those. Because you can see down here in the bottom right, this only has 10 rounds in the magazine. And as the ammo or the attachment name would suggest, this is the single tap mod. So it only shoots one bullet at a time as opposed to being fully automatic. So I thought we'd get back to the roots of this series and try out a weapon that could really use some maggle holding on it. And against these tier one zombies, seems pretty decent. But I do want to point out, I did not come up with this idea by myself. I actually got the idea for this from a comment from the Golden Banana Man suggesting that we try this weapon out or more like just anticipating the video on it. I, I like the confidence of it and it seemed like something fun to do, so... Thank you, Golden Banana Man. I appreciate it. If you guys have any other weapon suggestions that you think could benefit from mag holding, let me know. But against these tier two zombies, not really doing the greatest. We're doing a whole lot of reloading, not a whole lot of killing. But I mean, the damage is there. I can I can see the promise on this weapon. Oh, actually, we almost killed him right away. It looks like it can break armor pretty fast and it can really deal with the zombies health. There's not a whole lot of ammo in the mag to deal with them. And just so we can see how this is doing against some tier three zombies, unpack a punch and unupgrade it. How are we doing against a fully armored zombie? I don't think we're doing a whole lot. Let's throw another decoy, stay away. Armored zombie. Did we literally do anything to you? I can even tell if we've done damage to him. I see a little yellow line popping up, but he don't even seem to notice that he's getting hit. So let's grab some ammo. Let's grab my tombstone because they definitely didn't die over here. Couldn't have been me. My, my little brother must have been playing, obviously. I certainly would not die. That's for sure. And let's go ahead and get this to pack a punch two and legendary. So it looks like our mag goes up to 20 bullets when pack a punch. Not terrible. I mean, definitely terrible, but... Better than the 10 that we had before, so it doubled. And it looks like it can actually kill zombies here in tier 3 just being packed too. I'm starting to see some promise in this gun, I'm not gonna lie. But you could probably see through the few times that we were reloading there, or the reload, not the fastest. So let's go ahead and grab speed coal from over here. Please go to the decoy, leave me alone, thank you. We'll try to take a few of these guys out. And what's our reload looking like now? A bit better. But now that we've seen all that, let's go ahead and throw on our MAGA holding and probably get out of tier three for now. I don't think we're quite ready. Even though there is literally nobody in tier three but me. Of course, this is the time I don't have a pack a punch three crystal to bring in. Maybe if we're fast enough and we can take out a few bounties, we can get in there and still do the triangles. And if this weapon seems like it's good enough, we might go ahead and bring this into the unstable rift. But if it's not really impressing me in tier three, you might just have to go to the dark aether because I'm pretty low on, on stuff in my stash. I'm trying to build it back up and not have everything on cooldown. All right, Mimic, how's this doing against you? You can spit your thing as much as you want at me. Pause. Well, you ain't gonna do shit to me. Now the damage on this is actually really good. For the little shots we're doing, it's hitting them for a good amount. He's already dead. And that was only a pack too. Give me that self-revive. You know what? If we can get one more self-revive, we're going back into tier three. And I got the cash for it. I hardly ever see tier three this empty. We gotta go for it. I'm hitting those triangles up now. Give me those. So it looks like our max ammo here is 380 bullets. Not a whole lot, but I wasn't expecting a good amount with this gun, considering it's a single tap weapon. But I do like that we don't gotta reload anymore with this Mago holding. It's definitely gonna help out. Let's see if we can handle tier three long enough to get a pack three crystal. It's looking like it actually. This has the makings of a monster. This could be brutal. We gotta get this Pack-A-Punch 3 now. The headshot damage on this is so deadly. These zombies are dropping like it's nothing. They're dropping like it's hot, actually. There we go. Go ahead and give me that. I will take that legendary Aether tool. And let's go see if we can get that last triangle over here. I think a team's doing the next one closest to us. So we'll go grab this one over here. And let's start her up. How are we doing with this now that it's Pack-A-Punch 3? Definitely kill them way faster. Man, there's some guns that I wish I would have came in here with controller on because abusing dead shot with this critical hit damage, kind of crazy. I'm just gonna have to get better at aiming. There we go, all done. Give me that. That's a good amount of loot to start off on. And let's go ahead and try it against a tier three bounty. Where's this disciple hiding at? There he is, there's our guy. How much damage are we doing to you? Let me break that mask. Yes, sir, broke it right before he could heal, but we don't have a whole lot of damage on him. That mass just absorbs so much. Now we're starting to get to him. 
Got into about, or got a third of his health down. That's decent. Hit a little Aether Shroud on him. Get him down to close to half. Now, it looks like the damage on this weapon isn't half bad. But the fire rate on it is what's really killing it. Mago Holding's helping because we don't have to waste the time sitting there and reloading. But man, this fire rate is not doing well. Same with the ammo count. We're already out. I think this is kind of similar to like a semi-auto sniper, like the, the WA-2000 or 200 or whatever it's called. Any sort of like semi-automatic sniper is what this is really reminding me of. I still think we can take him out though. Unless he keeps flying away, you coward. Get over here. Where are you going? It's time for you to go to bed. Nope. All right. What's this guy's name? Kellogg? Bro think he's cereal. Either way, he's about to get eight. Night, night, buddy. Right about here. Damn, that took way longer than I thought I was going to. Pretty decent rewards though. I'll take a pack two crystal. I really want to fight an abomination with this. Can you help me out with that bounty? Oh, yes I can. Thank you. Love it when the game listens to me. What's up, buddy? I really want to see how this is doing against this dude's face. Broke it pretty fast. The critical damage on this weapon is actually so crazy. I feel like this is going to be like a good boss slaying weapon. But fighting off like hordes of zombies might be difficult. Or any sort of enemy that moves fast. Like I think it's going to struggle against disciples like it did earlier. And mimics might be a problem for it too. I feel like mimics are one of the hardest bosses to take down in the game. Especially HVT ones. That's like my main issue whenever I go into the unstable rift. Can we break a second phase? Yes, sir. We're handling them. We just need to shoot one more laser. You know what? Let's get on the roof and force them. There we go. Can you please turn so I can see the laser? Please, sir. There you go. Got a little Aether Shroud so the zombies can't find me. Damn. Let's try it again. I wish I could see his health bar. Is he going to die here? No, but we got him pretty close. Oh, he's so close to death. Let's try to kill him before we run out of ammo again. There you go. Keep that mouth open. Go ahead. Say ah. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. I feel like that fight was a bit faster than our disciple fight. It's got such a large crit point. Let's try another tier three bounty. I want another disciple. I, I need another crack at it. Oh, let's go. The game's listening to me today. Maybe I should start making loot demands. All right, disciple, if that's your real name. You got lucky the first time around. This time, you ain't surviving. I guess you didn't survive the first time either, but you're, you're dying faster is what I'm trying to say. Let's get that mask broken. Let's get some damage in. Still nothing crazy. Oh, you know what? Maybe we're going a bit faster. I do really wish this went fully automatic when Pack-a-Punched. Does it? Nope. Okay, sometimes I just miss that. Sometimes I get so used to having to fire every single bullet, like with a burst weapon or something, that I have no idea it even goes full auto when Pack-a-Punched. At least these zombies are super easy to take out. Forget what I said about taking out hordes of zombies. The zombies are the easy part. It's these bulky elites that this thing's having a bit of trouble with, at least taking them down fast. Because it's definitely got the damage there. Oh, and we broke his posture twice in a row. No healing? Come on. Let's end them right here. Don't you fly away from me. You need to die. Right here and right now. There we go. Give me something good. Nope. So this gun is definitely good, but I don't think it's unstable rift good. I, I think we're just going to have a, a nice relaxing time with a normal Dark Aether at the end of this game. I bet the normal Dark Aether is going to be a cakewalk compared to the unstable rift. Actually, maybe I shouldn't stay that. I'm just setting myself up for disaster. But I know this abomination's got a legendary Aether tool sitting there in his belly. I gotta extract it from him. Ain't that right, buddy? There we go. That's another face down. Take out all your zombie friends. And this should be it for him right here. See you later, buddy. Nope. Rare Aether tool. He lied to me. And a Scorcher. Scorchers literally only show up when I have one already. Anytime I'm looking for one, anytime I need one to get around the map a little faster, they do not exist. The game decided to give me a little hope by it listening to just a few, few demands from me. And then it's like, guess what? You ain't getting nothing else. It's a new level of it trolling me. But I'm going to try to get as much money as humanly possible this game. I'm going to try to get as close to an unstable rift reward as I can without going in there. I think the highest amount I've gotten off of my cooldowns in one game without using the unstable rift has been like nine hours and i think i had like 130,000 points and i'm only at 38,000 right now so we need to get all the way up there without going into that unstable rift 
I think the strat here is just spam tier three bounties. I'll do as many of them as I can. I wish I would add more rewards to containment levels too. Because after you hit 100, there's literally nothing for you to get. Actually, is it after 75? Or is 75 just what you get knocked down to? Because it is kind of dumb that you can get your containment level like basically all the way up to 1,000. And regardless of what happens, if you die, you crash, whatever, it just gets knocked down to 75. I feel like there should be a bit more reward for getting it that high up. And there's a legendary Aether tool right after I was talking shit on the game. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I guess since we're not doing the Unstable Rift, I don't need all these self-revives, at least not yet. Why don't you try giving me a Mimic? I want to see what it can do against that. Mega Abomination. There's only two HVTs in Tier 3, apparently. Oh, wait, no. Here's a Mimic. It's not an HVT one. And we absolutely crushed him. Brain Rot played a part in that, but still some beefy damage on this guy. He's already gone. Oh, we have two Abominations over here. Awesome. The more, the merrier. Bring him on. I'll take them both. Unless this other one doesn't see me. This other one might be blind. Actually, are, are they blind? Do they even have eyes? Shit, that makes sense. So that means they smell me or do they hear me? Because I, I don't think they got ears either. They can s smell my Gucci cologne that I got from Walmart. My ass smells like a bounty dryer sheet. I'm lying, it don't. It smell like swamp. It smell like ball cheese and sweat. This dude is red as fuck. He is sunburned. They don't got sunscreen in the Aether. I shouldn't be talking. My entire schnoz is burnt right now. I'm looking like a Rudolph. Because being a gamer and dangerously white is a terrible combination for going out in the sun. And I paid the price today. That's the lesson of the day. Don't touch grass unless you're prepared. Shit can get dangerous. Oh, insta-kill? That's got to be nasty with this. I mean, I guess every gun's nasty with insta-kill. But I mean more for this boss damage. I need you to open up for me. Please, Abomination. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's gone. This is like carpal tunnel the weapon. I just found out that it can shoot as fast as I pull the trigger. Or at least slightly close to that. My hand's going to be cramping. I'm going to get an esports injury. I think I can squeeze in one more tier three contract before we go ahead and go to the Aether. And I had two hitchhikers in my group for a second there, but they didn't want to do another outlast with me. They would have waited. I would have went to the Dark Aether with them. It's all right. I fly solo anyways. And I haven't really been using it a whole lot because I was getting yelled at for hip firing in the last few videos, but the hip fire on this is not bad. It doesn't look like you lose a whole lot of damage by doing it. And the accuracy isn't terrible. It, it, I'm basically hitting whatever I'm aiming at if my aim is decent, which is the main problem with it. We made it to a cool 102,000. Let's go ahead and enter the Dark Aether. We can get some MAGA holdings on the way out. And somebody forgot to kill their bounty over here. Can we kill it before we teleport in? I don't think so, but we can get some good damage on it. Yeah, that abomination is going to remember us. Ah, home sweet home. I haven't done this Dark Aether in a minute. Hopefully we can fly through this and come out of here with something decent. And of course, we're getting another Abomination. The only two bounties I got all day. Disciples and Abominations, and it's not changing. Don't matter. We'll still take them out either way. I'll kill anything in front of me. Ooh, got a face broken. I do not have any decoys though. I swapped them out for a cashmere and then never found another one after I threw one. So we're stuck with our tear gas, which I don't think is going to help out a whole lot. You just got to stop chasing me. This is the most annoying part about fighting Abomination. Just constantly running while he sits there and chomps at you. Can't get any damage done. Bad Abomination. Oh shit. That was almost like a jump scare. He came flying out of that fog. Oh, here we go. Tear gas can keep the zombies away from me for a second while I take out his middle face. Beautiful. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Also, I, I, I think you should not have to cough when throwing your own tear gas. One, PhD should take away all that damage. And two, I have a durable gas mask on. It shouldn't be affecting me at all. Come on, just one more laser and we can wrap this up. There you go. Thank you for listening, sir. Appreciate it. And he should be dead pretty soon. Oh, no. He's going to shoot another one. First one didn't do it. Second one will. I don't know. Refined crystal. That's decent loot, but not what I'm looking for. Can I please use my reward rift? Or use zombies going to be dicks? Oh, a cashmere. I'll use it. Whatever. On to the next. Now, let's see if we can survive this outlast. I'm going to try the, the dumbass spot. I'm going to sit right here. Can we survive it? This is basically like the unstable rift light. So we're still going to get some elites coming in here. I think there's going to be disciples and 
manglers. I actually don't remember seeing a mimic in this Dark Aether at all. I don't think they show up. Besides when you're actually doing the story mission and there's one like disguised as like a radio tower. But so far, so good. Emphasis on so far. Just gotta take the mangler out. And I think we're fine. Nope, we're not. We're not. We are not fine. But I'm trying to wait until this double points is almost gone so we can get double the amount of money for finishing this contract. I guess they're not gonna let me get it. Oh, got it. Barely. Okay, dumbass spot. Don't think works that, that well. Once more than like four zombies showed up, we were getting pressed. What about dumbass spot number two? My second favorite. Mangler, you know you don't want the smoke. Get out of here. Oh, and did our double points end right before the contract? That sucks. Damn, that could have been good money. Oh, we did get a maggle holding. Let's go. What are we sacrificing for it? A self-revive? Sure. Did we sacrifice another self-revive for a tier two pack crystal? Yeah, we'll play risky. Why not? Actually, no, we're not. The second I said that, I was not confident in it. I would hate to lose all this stuff just because I, I decided to be cocky. Last contract. Let's get it. Oh, wait. This is the one I usually use all my decoys for. We do have two cashmeres, though. That should be good enough. After I use one cashmere, it should give me enough for an aether shroud. And then we can use the other cashmere on the last one. So let's toss the first. There we go. Hold them back. Or don't. Or just let all the zombies hit me. Okay, can I still get this out without dying? Barely. Damn, game. They're really trying to screw me, huh? Let's Aether Shroud here. Overload this bad boy. And that's two down. Last one. Kashmir, please work this time. There you go. And we cleaned it. Did they drop me any good tacticals on the ground? That I could possibly use to get my reward? Nope. Another Maggle Holding. I'm definitely gonna have to get that. But there's way too many zombies around. Okay. All right. You know what? We're, we're gonna have to use that self-revive anyways. It'll clear up space. So we use that. We have a few seconds before they re-aggro on us. We will grab that and let's go. I accidentally dropped my Aether Blade. That's so dumb that you can even do that. Why would I want to drop my Aether Blade? Ever. Can I get it back, please? Can I please have my Aether Blade back? Where is it? I know you're somewhere over here. There we go. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Well, this game decides to fuck with me. We didn't have a bad run that time. We got 120k. We got a nice backpack full of loot. Let's see how much time we're getting off our schematics. Like, look how nice all this loot looks here in our backpack. That's beautiful. And how much XP did we get? 39,000, which is eight hours off. See, I was close. I was close with our estimate. Eight and a half hours. Clean. And we didn't even get a battle pass token from that. That's ridiculous. Did they nerf zombies XP for the battle pass? I used to get like one or two a game when the season first started. That's insane. I can't, I can't believe that actually. I'm being scammed. This is double battle pass XP too. All right. But overall, this TR-76 with a one-tap mod, actually pretty good. The damage on it is nice. Uh, but like I mentioned before, I don't think it is good enough or has a fast enough fire rate to handle the unstable rift. But it did carry us through that Dark Aether and did pretty good in Tier 3. We're, we could take out any zombie there, basically any bounty that we attacked. Even if it took a little bit to kill, it would still kill them. I think it would really benefit if the Pack-A-Punch ability made it fully automatic. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to go back and revise it. But even without it, it's still a very effective weapon and can do some damage in Tier 3. Three. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.